When creating multiple iterations of a part, it can be helpful to apply a label for identification purposes. Using Stratasys PolyJet 3D printers, we can apply this label in SolidWorks and print it out in full color on our machine. We'll start by taking a look at our file in SolidWorks. You'll notice right now, there is no label applied. If I roll down on the feature tree, I can see the extruded text coming off of the model. Examining the feature closer reveals the sketch has been applied directly to the side of the part. From here, we're going to look at our appearances. We're going to apply a white satin plastic finish to the part, being careful to select body, which will turn the entire part the color we've selected. From here, we're going to examine the extruded text a little bit closer. Going back to the appearance menu, we're going to select black satin finish plastic and apply it to one of the faces of this feature. You'll notice at this point we have the option to apply the appearance to just the face or the entire feature. We'll select the entire feature and zoom out, and we'll see that the text has now been changed in appearance in our model. We're going to export this model using the VRML file format. Go to Save As and scroll all the way to the bottom to VRML. We'll change the setting to VRML 97 for file format, which will allow this file to be read by our PolyJet 3D printer. Change the appropriate units, and then export the file. Here we see the file loaded into GrabCAD print on a Stratasys J850 template. We can see that the file imported with both colors fully intact, so the appearance of the part is the same as it was in SolidWorks. Once we verify that the color of both the model and the label are correct, we can scroll down to print this tray to create this model. And now our model is complete. Be sure to check out the Trimec blog and subscribe to the Trimec YouTube channel for more Stratasys, FDM, and PolyJet tips and tricks.